All right, none of that whole thing was recorded. That's okay. Pesach <clears throat> Shabbos Parsha Shoftim, 1991. There's a commandment in our Torah portion. Shoftim v'shotim titen l'cha b'chol sharecha. Judges and policemen, you should give, you should put in all of your gates. Commandment to make judges and policemen to enforce what the judges say. Yeshnu ayyud, there is the goal. Shall navi agula of the prophet of the redemption. Who is this? Isaiah the prophet, Yeshaya. What does he say? Right in there in the beginning. What does he say, Isaiah? Isaiah says, Hoshiva Shoftenu. Excuse me, excuse me. We'll go for the beginning. It says, eh. <clears throat> What does Isaiah say? Ashiva, God says, I will return. Shoftayich, your judges could be shown like in the beginning. The Yoetzayich and your advisors, Kibatchila in the onset. One second. What, what happened to the Shotrim? Shoftim the Shotrim says you should put judges and policemen in all of your gates. And this is what Isaiah the prophet is talking about in the days of the Mashiach. Says God says, I will return your judges like in the beginning, Karishona, and your and your advisors, advisors, not not uh, policemen. Huh? We're going to see what this means. The Rebbe is going to explain this very well. Kabatchila, like on the onset. What's the difference between Rishona and Tchila? What's the difference between Rishona? And tehillah. Well, usually tehillah means that it's it's like starting something. Starting something. Else. Rishona means like number one. It doesn't necessarily mean it's starting anything. It's the highest. So it's God says, I will return back your judges like in the top and your advisors in the beginning. All right, let's see what this means. Kavishomim, like we say also in our prayer, we say every day. Three times a day. We say, return God, please. Return our judges like in the beginning and our advisors in the onset. Advisors. What happened to the policemen? We'll see. Alpia Madubar, according to what he said many times, especially in last times, the Nogea Lahachraza regarding to the announcement, the Hoda, <clears throat> and the, what the, the, the announcement, and the, another word for announcement, as uh, Raza, and the uh, Hoda, the, uh, what was advertised, I'll think of a better word later, the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Nasi Dreno, he's the leader of our generation. The Rebbe said a lot of times that the previous Rebbe, he was the Mashiach. In fact, he said that all the leaders of Chabad are the Mashiach of their generation. But the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe said very clearly, La alter la tshuva, la alter la geula. La alter means immediately. La alter right now, if you do tshuva, uvamela automatically will be la alter la geula, immediately will be the future redemption. Shekavar Saimu Akal, that everything has been finished. The Jews have suffered enough. The sparks have been elevated. <clears throat> All the commandments have been done. Everything is good. Even we're ready for the parade. Mashiach. All you have to do is shine up the buttons. Says the Rebbe, even that you don't have to do. Also, the buttons on the uniforms have been shined. You all have to be standing prepared. The Gamet Zek of Arsim one, this already did. They are, this is also done. Everyone's already ready. The Kabul Penny Mashiach Zitkenu, take off of me at Mamish, to accept the face of the Mashiach immediately. Now, now, this was what, 30 years ago, right? 30 years ago. 
We're ready to get Mashiach. That's it. Everyone is ready, standing in order. The trumpets are blaring. Da, 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 da. Everyone's standing there. And they're standing and they're waiting for another day and another week. Standing. Da, 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 da. You know, the year has passed. Everybody's still standing there. The buttons are still shining. Right? Maybe take a little break. Any second he's coming. Now we are. We have finally reached the time of Ashiva Shoftayach Ve'yawatsayach. Said the Rebbe, here we are, 1991. Time has come. We are here for the time that God is going to bring back our original judges and our advisors. Yeterim is saying even more, but it's going to be like in the beginning. Kavar Yeshno Atchala. It's not a new thing. It's already happened before. Batchila, like it was back <clears throat> in the time of the temple. We'll see. Okay, now we have to, a very basic thing. What do we need the Rebbe for? What do we need the Rebbe for? The Rebbe is here to tell us that things are not the way they seem. <clears throat> the Rebbe is here to make us aware of who we are, how much God loves us, and not to listen to anything that anyone says to the opposite. <clears throat> Even if that anyone is you yourself. Not to listen. The Rebbe is telling us to go against our nature, not to pay any attention to any negative things that we see or hear, including the fact that this is 30 years ago and Mashiach didn't come yet. That's the whole purpose of the Rebbe. The Rebbe is coming to give us a message that we would never know if it wasn't for him. That we would never know if it wasn't for him. That's a true leader. But that's Mashiach. For you, so we can understand. Back then, first of all, let's understand a few things about this appointed time, this goal that we're, up, we're aiming for. But see, in our Torah portion, what does it say? How, what's the name of our Torah portion? Judges and policemen. That's the commandment. Which is not the case when Isaiah talks about the promised time. It says, I will give back your judges. And it doesn't say anything about policemen. On the other hand, it says, instead of policemen, it says advisors. So Mashiach is going to come. There's not going to be any more policemen. Uh, these people are now to defund the police. Uh, they got a point. <laughs> Defund the police. The problem is, is you have to have proper judges first. And the people have to want to listen to the judges. Why do you have to have police? You're going to see in a second. You have to have police because people don't want to listen to the judges. Because they don't want to listen to the judges. In fact, they would be happy if there were no judges at all. So therefore, you have to have police in order to enforce the judges. Nevertheless, in the future, it says we can defund the police. There won't be any more police. Yoatzayach. They'll be advisors. Mayim Shtein, you know, what does this mean? Judges and advisors. <clears throat> what does it mean? Question number three. Question number one is, what is it, why aren't there, why in the future <clears throat> redemption does Isaiah leave out these policemen? He puts in advisors instead of policemen. Number two, what's, what exactly is a judge and, a, and a, an advisor. What does it mean, an advisor? Why does it say judges? It says Kabrishona. Judges like in the beginning. In Yoatzayach, it says Kebatchila, an onset. Uh, Kabrishona means like in the beginning. Rosh, the head. Etchila, that means. The beginning of something, the, that he said, the, the, the onset of something. What's the difference between the two of them? Now, I, you have to remember, when Isaiah says something, every word is exact. This is Torah Shabbat This is the written Torah. And why does it say, your judges and your advisors in second person? Not like in the beginning, it says, it just says, there will be judges and policemen. It doesn't say your judges, your policemen. 
even though that in our Torah portion it does say shoftim v'shoftim titen lucha, it says to give to you. So good, it does say to you. But in Isaiah, it says clearly that the judges are your judges and the advisors are your advisors. In our Torah portion, it just says judges and policemen, you should give to you. So there is a certain amount of, of personal connection in our Torah portion. But in Isaiah, the whole thing is personal. It'll be your judges and your advisors. Okay, let's go on. What, what's going on over here? Now, you have to realize that what, what we're not here, this is not how do you say um, the comparative literature or whatever they call it, or what is it, critical literature? They have some. <clears throat> this, this, we're talking about what we're really supposed to be waiting for. And it's unlike any other things, waiting for Mashiach is very, very important. Even psychologically, what Mashiach comes, nobody wants him, who cares? So it, it's not going to have an effect on anybody. A person has to have. A desire, like if you a person that doesn't want a million dollars and you give him a million dollars, he sort of doesn't know really what to do with it. He doesn't really sort of appreciate it. If a person really needs the million dollars and you give it to him, then oh, this is what I wanted. I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Yeshlon, we can explain like this: Achilut ben Shofti and the The difference between judges and policemen is in the language of Rashi. Rashi explains, Rabbi Shlomo Yitzchak explains the Torah. Shoftim, these are judges. They decide the law. Shotrim, policemen, erodim esa'am, they force the people, achar mitzvosom, after they are commanded. Shemakim bakoftim, that they hit and they force bamakil bratsua with a, what do you say, a, 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 a club and a whip. Until people accept the judgment of the judge. Philomer, in other words, I showed him that the judges, that the, I showed him that the policemen, I'm sorry. In the end, the whole thing is the kafot ul hachriach et ansha'am, they force the people, et adin ba mishpat, that they should do the law. So, in other words, the, 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 the policemen, the, sh, the show, Shotrim, they're like not so human. No, they're not so human or merciful or warm or understanding. They have a job to do. They realize that they're without them, the whole country, the whole Judaism, the, every, and for the be benefit of the people, it's not good. You let people do what they want and you get the, uh, confusion, destruction, self destruction. So you have to have police. Now, the police themselves, their job is to carry out what the judge says. They believe in what the judge says, and they carry out what the judge says. That's supposed to be their job. Maybe they're given a little bit of leeway and something, but if they're not given any leeway, then that's it, right? The judge says, right, Shmerel has to pay back a million dollars to Beryl. That's it. He's guilty. He has to pay back in another month. The policeman see that it's done. The policeman goes to him and says, pay back, pay back, pay back. Says, I can't do it. Okay, listen, I'll take you to the judge and we'll see what he says. If the judge says differently, okay, but if not, you see this club, see this whip, it's for you. That's why I'm carrying them around, right? If the judge says to give you a, another month, 100%. But that's that you have to have someone like that. The judge, on the other hand, he can't go out and run after all the criminals all the time. <clears throat> he can't, he's busy judging. He has to be, his head has to be clear. He's more of an intellectual person. <clears throat> the, 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 the policeman, he also has to be intellectual, but his main thing is force. He has a gun, he has a stick, he has a this. So he has to force people, that they have to accept the law, because if not, then nobody will do it. Right? Everybody does whatever they want. According to this, moving, you can understand, Madua, Woya, Yayud, Bagaula, Neymar, Raka, Shiva, Shoftayach. says that will return. A very common thing is you have with divorce, right? A divorce. A lot of times men, uh, they can be mean, they can be cruel, and they don't want to divorce their wife. They beat their wives or whatever, and they have to get, and they don't want a divorce. And in Judaism, the man has to give the divorce. A woman can't get divorced from a man if he doesn't give the divorce. That's the law in Judaism. So there's a law that you can beat them up. Is you can beat them up. 
Look, I said that, that you know, in, in America there is no law. You can't go beating people up because they don't want to give a divorce bill. So that's a big. That's one of the places where, where what do they call it? The civil law and Jewish law, they contradict one another. But <clears throat> technically, it is, and technically they they can beat him until he says, "Okay, I want to. I'll give the." And the Rambam even asked the question. Says, "How can you?" Says a, 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 a divorce bill has to give him, be given with free will. How can you beat a person? And he says, okay, I give free will. I give, it's my free will. It's not his free will. So the Rambam says something very interesting. He says that every Jew really wants to do all the commandments. And by forcing him to give the commandment, to, 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 to give this divorce bill, that according to the law he has to give, is that's his true will. He, he really does want to do it. Even though he's screaming, right, I don't want to, I refuse, and the only reason, I'll, I'll only, I'm only doing it because you're beating me. doesn't make any difference. He really does want to give. Oh, that's very unusual. But that's basically the, the, the whole point of these uh, policemen. They force the Jewish people to do what they really down deep want to do, the will of God. Alpizer, according to this, we can understand why in the future redemption it says, I will return your judges, and it doesn't say anything about policemen. Why? Cave in and listen to this. This is going to tell us something very, very special about the future redemption. Cave in, since Lati Lavo in the future, is battle Matthias Aran. There won't be any bad, no more selfishness. The Yates are horror. There won't be any more, how do you say, destructive, self-destructive forces. People will want to do what God wants. God wants only the best for us. He wants only the best. He creates us. We're, we're totally his creations. He's creating us every instant, brand new. He's enlivening us. You think at least he has a say. And also he's, he's, he's benefiting us. He's giving us eyes and ears and nose and mouth. And he gives it the eyes, wonderful, except nose, 100%. Torah, no way. Why? He says, why? Because I have a free choice. That's the Yetzir Hora. And that's what God wants. God wants us to have this Yetzir Hora. He wants us to have it so that we can use for our free will. Below Yitzharhu, Lashotrim, you won't have to have any judges. It's like there's people, I mean, I took a lot of courses of this <clears throat> about the addictions. And people that get addicted, you know, you can force them all you want to. <clears throat> but if they don't really, really want <clears throat> to change, and if they don't have some connection with some, you know, upper power, at least their conscience or something that's guiding them and telling them, you know, you, your life is valuable, don't waste it. Your life is valuable, don't waste it. Your life is a gift. They have to be constantly reminded of something that's above them. They have to want to do it. <clears throat> policemen are not good enough. You can have all the policemen you want to, and you'll never stop people that are addicted to drugs. You're not, unless you totally cut off all the supply of all the drugs, then they'll get addicted to something else. <clears throat> what you can do with policemen is not make the stuff available so that people don't start to be addicted in the first place. Good, but the main thing is, is the addictions that the people have, it comes from an emptiness inside. And to fill up this emptiness, once that's empty, then you don't need the policeman anymore. Then the person is filled with his own values and his own his own conscience of the... So therefore, in the future, that's the idea of Mashiach. You will not need these policemen, Shiach Richo, that force the people to listen to the, what the judges say. Kevin Shekola and Hashem, because all of the people, Yekaimu Miatzman, will do on their own at the Horaot, which you're supposed to, right? Like everybody uh, drives on the road, pro proper side of the street. You don't have to have a policeman on every single road to make sure people don't drive on the wrong side of the street. Everybody drives on the right side of the street. Why? They lost their free will? They, they, they're not stupid. Therefore, therefore, you will, in the future, in the times of the Mashiach, you'll have to have judges that will tell people what is the right thing to do, and they'll teach everyone the Torah, and they'll indicate the Torah and the commandments to the Jewish people, and the, the, the people will go from higher to higher in holiness itself, but people will be self-motivated, and they'll want to do good, and they won't want to do stupid things, and there won't be any more addictions, and there won't be any more aggression, and there won't be any more depression, and the world can get along really well without any of these things. <clears throat> but Yeshlom, we can say, this is also hinted at the name of our parsha Shoftim. What? Without Shoftim. Shoftim means, that the name of anything, it expresses the in, 
the content of the thing. Alter is as similarly in the name of our parshas of the Torah as they are called according to the custom of the Jewish people. That is shoftim. What does it mean at first glance? How is it possible that our portion, Torah portion, shoftim im <coughs> hamitzvah shetochna hu lechiora shoftim v'shotrim titen lecha ba'ad sheita b'midrash that in the midrash it says im ain't shoter ain't shofet. It says in the midrash if there's no policeman then the the, the judges can go home because nobody's going to listen to what the judges say. How can it be kivachin is chayav adam since a person is obligated in, in court. Lechavero, if a person owes money to someone else, im ain't shelter. If there's no policeman, shiotzim in manner that it won't take out the money from him. Kivin shaporish mina dayan. As soon as he goes out from the court, ain spika biyada dayan. Dayan, the judge has not got the power to do anything to him unless he gives him over to a policeman. <clears throat> there has to be. A policeman. How, if so, how can this, the future redemption, be hinted at in our Torah portion that says Shoftim Vishotrim? Says the Rebbe, the explanation is Inyan Shoftim, the whole thing of the policeman is just a assistant to the judge. That if the judge cannot carry out the judgment, actually, then you have to have a policeman. Bali Makel Ratsua, those who have st- they have sticks and, and whips that they can af- force people to do what the judge says because the judge is trying to bring justice and order into the world. Can't have everybody doing what they want. You have to listen to the judge. So it's the benefit of everyone to do what the judge says. What if the person doesn't want to? Then you have to have a policeman. Lohi, and therefore, Nikos Aparsha, therefore, if you would call. The Torah portion, Rock Shoftim, right? This, oh, I, I understand. This Torah portion is called Shoftim. Pasha Shoftim. <clears throat> At first glance, it doesn't make any sense. How can you call it the portion of the Torah Shoftim without <clears throat> a policeman? The Shoftim is nothing. So the, the Torah portion should be called Shoftim the Shotrim. But if you look at any religious books, this Torah portion is only referred to as Parshat Shoftim. And the word Shoftim is left out. <clears throat> Says the Rebbe, how can you do that? <laughs> Without the, the, the policemen, the judges are worth nothing. Says the Rebbe, no, you don't understand. The only reason that the policemen are there is in emergency cases, unusual cases, that people don't want justice. People don't want justice. <clears throat> <clears throat> a person that doesn't want justice, she says, I, I don't understand, you came to the judge, means you want justice, right? Of course I want justice if I win. But if I don't win, I don't. that's not justice. Justice means I win. So the judge says, okay, I understand. Is that you, what you say? Of course that's what I say. I'm not going to pay back. This is, okay, Sammy, right? Tony, let's go. All of a sudden this huge guy comes out from the list with this big whip and says, uh, you want something, uh, boss? Says, yes, he refuses to do what I say. You don't want, no, I refused. <laughs> Was this a joke? I refused. What are you talking about? I never that, go against the judge. No way. As soon as the, 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 the policeman comes, all of a sudden the judge now has force. Right? People listen to me, no, Shoftim, that we appoint Shoftim, policeman, ain't an extra of the mitzvah. There's no commandment on its own to be, make a policeman. In the commandments, right? If you look at the number of commandments, we'll go over that this week. This week has a lot of commandments in it. There's, There's one commandment. The commandment is to appoint judges. The policemen are, if the judges were strong enough, then you wouldn't have to have policemen either. The main thing is just to appoint a judge to make order in the world. Since that's why this Torah portion is called Shoftim. Because the <clears throat> policeman, the shotrim, that's just like the arm of the judge. The main thing is the judge. But in order that the just judgment should be actually carried out, but it's not necessary to have policemen. Because really you could do this commandment very well without 
policeman, kasher on matzav zman, if there's a proper time and people genuinely come to the judge because they want to do the truth. I don't want to hold on to money that's not mine, Your Honor, right? If I owe the money, then I'll give the money. It's going to be hard. But if I don't owe the money, then tell them to stop coming and knocking on my door, right? And what about, the judge says, what about you? You're accepting the judge case? He says, yes, but I think that he, I think he owes me the money. Okay, let's hear the, okay. But genuinely, you, you agree to accept whatever I say, even if you lose, yes. Even if you lose, yes. All I'm interested in is, is truth, right? The truth. The, what about the money? God will give the money. You know where I got the money in the first place? I got it from God. People open up businesses, they do exactly what I do, and they fail. Other people open up businesses, they do less than I do, and they make billions. But God will figure out a way to get me the money. That's supposed to be the idea, that people really believe in God. That, which is the commandment in the Torah. It says that you have to make judges and policemen who Kevin Shazel would see with the Doros, because this is a commandment for all of the future generations when I'll call us a money, but call him a him when people will not want to do, not be so interested in what God wants. They'll be interested, but not so interested, they're willing to lose money. Therefore, you have to have a commandment for the policeman. But much of in such cases, she nidra she akablu at the din bederech kafia. When it is necessary that the only way that the justice can be served is if there is force. Lochim therefore gam ne amar b'midrash it says imin shoter in shofet. Therefore, it says in the midrash that if there is no policeman, there is no judge. Lo ladina, there's no judgment. Ela la to elas kiyum adaver. This is not so that there shouldn't be. The the, the 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 justice the, the 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 judge won't know what to do if he doesn't have a policeman standing next to him. No, he knows what to do. A little came a dover, but in order that justice should be served, if there's a person that doesn't want the justice, he's not interested in what God says. He's interested in winning. If there's a person like this that doesn't care about God, then you have to have a a, a, a policeman. You have to have a policeman. Right? All you care about is yourself. That's right. Okay. Then you want to have a broken arm? No. Who's going to break it? You a judge, huh? No. Here I got Shmero. Come out, Shmero. The guy's six foot nine, weighs 350 pounds, right? He's got this huge, uh, the, the, what is it? It's too huge a uh, club in his hand. What do you say now? 100%. Here's the check. Kishiiten below Shotrim, the Mishpat, but if, if it's if there's a case, when do you have to have policemen? If there is such a say, a case where a lack of policemen will bring a lack of justice. So therefore, you have to have policemen. But the essential law is only a judge. Human nature sometimes necessitates that there has to be a use of force. But ideally, in the time of Mashiach, there's only going to have to be advisors, as we'll talk about, God willing, tomorrow. And now let's do the Yom Yom. Yom Yom Chabad. We begin saying, the David Ori. Today you can also practice sounding the shofar. On the second day of Rosh Chodesh, you sound the shofar. After davening in Chabad, we also sound all three, three voices, right? The middle of Rebbe first used to say brief my morning. For instance, the Maimar Zecharav Tuvacha. And in the city, this was said in six sections. But after the, the middle of Rebbe, Middle of he used to say brief my morning, and afterwards he said huge my morning. They said that there was one mimer that he said that was thirteen hours long, thirteen hours long. Middle Rebbe, the second Rebbe of Chabad. Have a good day with Mashiach. Now see you at three o'clock. Three o'clock we will learn Chumash. Yechi Hamelach.